Hello again, it's Mike back with you. Today is swap meet day. So we're gonna be heading down toward uh, north of London for a place called North Weald Airfield. And uh, weather report says it's supposed to clear up. Right now it is about 40 degrees outside. It's cold, it's windy. So uh, it's wet on the ground from the last few days of rain. But we're just hoping for uh, some dry weather. Hopefully it won't be too cold or windy. And I gotta go about a half an hour drive to my friend Pete's house. I'm gonna pick up him and a bunch of his stuff, throw it in the van. And then we got about a 45 minute drive after that to get to where we're going. So, uh, so hopefully it'll be a good day. Sell a lot of stuff, clear out the garage a bit, and uh, I'll bring you along and I'll check back in here with you. About, I don't know, once we get down to the swap meet, probably just do a bunch of time lapses, showing you this and that. And uh, I got the T5 loaded up as well. So the guy's supposed to be, uh, he gave me a deposit for it. It was up for sale for seven hours before it sold. So uh, that's how quick things can go here when you got the right parts, because the things that English people can't get. So he's gonna meet me down there around 11 to 12 o'clock and bring, bring the rest of the cash. And that'll be, even if I don't sell anything, getting rid of the, the T5, selling that is uh, worth the trip. So uh, yeah, it's half an hour to my buddy's house, about 45 minutes to the place. And uh, I'll see you guys. I'll talk to you again like this when I get back and tell you what happened. Swap meets wrapping up. People are closing up, going home. Last of the dregs. It's 1:38, so we didn't do too bad today. It was definitely worth coming. Going home a little bit lighter than we got here with. So I got an envelope full of money for the T5. Showed up. 
and uh, sold some things. I don't know. I have to count the money when I get home. But my friend just went to the bathroom. And we're out of the wind, cranking this heat, and it's cold. So, and, uh, getting ready to make the trip back. So, uh, well, good day. It wasn't rainy, just cold and windy. I need more tissues, and uh, my nose is runny. So, I'll catch you guys in a bit, and we're back, and we'll take stock in how the haul went. Say hello, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> so he just got back from the swap meet. Loaded his stuff. So I couldn't, didn't have enough room to fit the front end with John's, so we left it here. So I mean, everybody was going to the dumpster because I don't know if anybody's going to really want to buy it. I unloaded some stuff. Get it gone. Continue on to my house. But, uh, this is an introduction to Fox number two of our group. So, a little cluttered. This is another coop, but uh, we'll pull the cover back on this another day and give you a full intro of it. But uh, we do have it was a quote race car at one time. And then we're slowly converting it back into street use. And putting a HVAC back inside of it is going to be our next project. So this is a, a non-air conditioned. See that all it is heater core. There's no AC vents anywhere on it. So we already got the heater control box for it. So uh, this project will be starting soon. Because driving around with, uh, with no vent or blower at all. Very dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have exhaust to do, rear suspension parts to do, there's some TZ bits here. There's a 351 Windsor on a stand. The parts that we just brought back from the swap meet. But uh yeah, we'll get on with this soon. I got another half an hour drive to get home and I'm gonna relax. Yep, sounds like <laughs> so, a plan. Alrighty. So all right, good day with you, and uh, we'll get the gate, and I'll catch you soon. Are you doke? Well done, Mike. All right, we're back from our uh, whirlwind adventure in Swap Meet Day. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, meet all kinds of interesting people, that's for sure. And uh, it took about an extra 45 minutes to get home because the Part of the roads were closed on the M11, so they threw us on detours and out there with the phones and GPS trying to get back. Uh, got back, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon now. We started wrapping up around 1, 1 1.30. But uh, I dropped off Pete and his, his parts, dropped off uh, my other friend John's parts at his house. Just got done unloading everything here. Looking forward to get some food, get some rest. I'm pretty whipped and I'll clean up the rest of the stuff tomorrow, but I uh, got rid of the T5, and the only score I managed to get was I picked up a 302 intake you know, and paid 40 pounds for it. So I wasn't going to haggle. That's a, a super awesome price. Usually if you can find a four barrel intake for less than 100 bucks, you're doing pretty good. So I just looked over quick. No real corrosion, no strip bolt holes. And uh, this will... This will go well on the next engine I get around the run stand because the last intake I had I sold and uh, with the engine I don't have anything else hanging around anymore but uh, yeah good score I didn't have a whole lot of time once we set up got there uh, it was probably I only had 30 minutes where it was about nine o'clock by the time we were set up had about 30 minutes before the gates opened and the flood of uh, people started showing up so I had, Pete was looking after the stuff I quick took a blast through what I can, what I could see. I maybe looked at half the, the vendors and found the intake. I was looking for anything remotely uh, that I could use, but you didn't see a whole lot. All the Fox stuff really didn't sell. Uh, people were after generic Ford stuff, if anything, uh, because the, the, the venue was more hot rod, like vintage hot rod. So uh, 
if you had a set of rocker arms that could be used on an engine that's fine but you're not going to sell any mustang like trim parts or or body parts or or anything or interior stuff anything like that for fox mustang that stuff didn't sell uh, stuff junk sold that i never thought i would get rid of but if, and then it, nobody bought anything that was more than 40 pounds off me. I had some high ticket items. I took the GT40Ps, lots of people looking at them, lots of people wanting them, but nobody would pony up for what, they're, what they are, what they're worth. And even at swap meet value prices, what I wanted to sell it for, still no, no takers. Lots of people looking at the MSD crank trigger I had. Nobody would pony up any serious money for it, even though they're all oohing on over it. They all wanted it, but there they just want a deal you know whether they can use it or not that seems like the people that bought the obscure stuff they're just had a cart and looking for deals and it's like well if you want that thing you can use it and like i had like a it was a vintage like looked like a reproduction speedometer gear reduction box like for old uh old vintage fords that had gear ratios like 410 or 430 and that little box is you know pretty expensive to convert slow down the uh or speed up the speedometer, well, slow down the speedometer cable from the steep gears and things like that to make it work. And I don't know what the application was for. I looked it up online. I think it was for a Jeep or something, but I got it got in a parts lot and heck, I sold that thing for 10 pounds just to get rid of it because the application is so small for what it was used for. But guy saw it, I tried to explain to him what it was, but he, he wanted it. So here you go, <laughs> got rid of it. So it's not hanging up anymore, but, uh, all right yeah so uh hope you enjoyed it i got what i wanted out of it and uh i'll catch you guys in the next video